They are very happy with uh, the way he went this morning. He appeared to handle the ground. In saying that, I'd say we don't want much more rain. Um, you know, the lead horse uh, went well. They're both happy. So really just couldn't be happier with this morning, but probably just don't need a lot more rain. So he usually likes to run to the front. Uh, that's where he runs his races. But obviously there's a hell of a lot more speed uh, in races in Australia than there would be uh, at home in Europe. But um, we've brought the top jockey down in Ryan Moore. Um, he's studied every single horse. He's done the form and everything. So listen, we know that we have a big task ahead of us to take on the Australian horses. We know that the best sprinters in the world come from here. Um, you know, but I guess we'll, we'll, uh, we'll learn a lot on Saturday. Um, I know Dermot Weld in the old days took horses out to Melbourne from Ireland and it was an unknown and that went well. Uh, Aidan took horses out to the Cox Plate uh, in the past. Uh, we took out Adelaide the first time and he won. So it's kind of, we're, we're treading on new ground, admittedly taking on the best sprinters in the world. So we know we have our work cut out, but you know, the horse is in good form. Uh, Ryan's in good form. Uh, the lads are very happy here. And you know, when you have, uh, when you've been looked after the way that we have by the ATC and uh, you know, it's, it's phenomenal. I mean, to have Canterbury Racetrack to ourselves is fantastic. For the last two weeks, I think racing has been on, there's been a horse on the front page of every paper in Australia for the last two weeks. And you wouldn't see that anywhere else in the world. Um, I think that I was racing on Saturday and to see so many young people to go racing in this country, uh, it's fantastic. Um, this, this race is, you know, it's, 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 it's in its second year of running. And I speak to people in America, Hong Kong, Dubai, and they all know what the Everest is. They can name horses that are running in the field. And you know, people will be glued in to watch this, this race on, on Saturday. So listen, it'd be, it'd be nice if, uh, if, if Aidan had, a, you know, his first runner in Sydney was a, a winner, it would be great. For, for anyone who hasn't been to the Everest uh, last year, you know, I think, you know, young or old, I think you should go to the races on Saturday. I think um, racing in Australia has just reached a new height. And uh, I think everybody should witness it and be a part of it. Originally, we planned to run them over a mile, but that didn't work out. And bringing them back to six forums in the July Cup, he showed what he showed us as a two-year-old. And obviously, they decided more or less straight away after that the Everest was, was the plan, thinking we'd have good, fast ground. <laughs> but what he brings is, is he was a very impressive July Cup winner, so without doubt he's one of the best sprinters in, in Europe. And as I said, the reason he didn't run again was that he was put away specifically to come here. So, you know, he could have been running at Haydock and places like that, but as I say, he was put away for here with this in mind. He'd be a horse that's always forward, always has been, uh, yeah, as a two-year-old. And it, trying to hold him up doesn't really work because he gets too keen. So he just, and he's, he's always quick out of the gates. So he'll be there, thereabouts early on, and we'll have to take it from there.